Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So, I'm Jean. I'm so happy to have you guys here. And for today's Pick a Card Tarot Reading, we're going to do a topic on your colleagues, your co-workers, or you know, if you're still studying your classmates. So, we're going to see um, how do they see you. So, we're going to, you know, get more info on in the vibe check. Uh, initially, what do they think? And then, later on, we'll pull some more tarot to, you know, assess or, you know, give more information about the situation, what to do um, about it or how to act, you know, a suggestion rather on how to act around your colleagues or your co-workers. So in front of us here, I've prepared three piles for you guys to choose from. We have pile number one with the Ocean Jasper Palm Stone. And then you can also choose based on the tarot. And then for pile one, we have the Mystic Mondays Tarot. Then we have pile number two with <laughs> the big hand, sorry, with the pyrite crystal. And then we have the light seers tarot. And then we also have pile number three with the moss agate tower crystal. And then for this one, we're going to use the good tarot deck. Alright, so you can pick based on the tarot or based on the crystal or based on the general vibe check. You can choose more than one. Okay, so you can choose based on, you know, a specific office mate or group of office mates in mind. Now, if you guys are ready, let's get started with pile number one. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. If you chosen this crystal, okay, we'll start with, you know, your reading on what your colleagues or co-workers think of your classmates. So, I've prepared a pre-shuffle um, cards and then later on, I'm going to do um, a live shuffling for the rest or to finish off the reading so for the general vibe check on what they think of you we have the first card represented by the death but in reverse and then we also have well we have the hermit in reverse and then for your third card we have the seven of cups next we have the queen of swords in reverse and then we have the two of cups. Okay. Okay. So from what I'm seeing here, pile number one, currently um for some of you I'm seeing that there may have been a conflict that just recently arose, you know, or has just recently been settled, an argument. Or for some of you it could even be a recurring thing. Like the conflict the disagreement between you and a co-worker or your co-workers is still ongoing. But what I'm seeing here with the debt card is that, you know, there had been, a, there's a past, okay? There's a past, there's a history, and with the debt card, regardless of the situation, the Hermit in reverse is saying that this is a situation that did not end well. It may have affected some relationships or if it's not a relationship, it may have affected something towards the person's work. It can be about how they do their work, you know, how other people see them because of work, or how things are going to be done okay, in the workplace. So there's some energy here of, you know, in general also, there's an energy here of you and your colleagues just being civil with each other. It's like you also in yourself feel that, you know, you're not vibing, like, you're not getting along well with them. It's like you don't like them or they don't like you in the turn. But it's not something that's, you know, superficial. It's because of something. For some of you, I'm also seeing that it could also be because of, you know, an impression, a, wrong, a first impression gone wrong. Or it could be that, you know, you were misread or you were misinterpreted into something. Yeah, so yeah, there there is some sort of uh, misunderstanding that may have, you know, um ruined an opportunity or a chance for it to be completely fixed. Okay. The Hermit card in here is suggesting that, you know, um there is also an energy here of being super guarded. Okay being extra careful with yourself or with other people at work. Okay, sorry about the pause. Anyway, so going back with the Hermit card, 
in you know in the first it's like at work you are you know you and your you know goalies you have this thing wherein you're very careful with whom you trust i mean i know it should be the case in any workplace but for you in this case like your guard is um your guard is really up and really up <laughs> like really high up okay like you're really being careful in here and then the seven of cups in the first in here i'm also seeing you know um a lot of things a lot of thoughts running down and you know your own minds and your colleagues minds so it's like a mirroring effect and you know this one being an odd number is saying that there's this possibility of you overthinking the situation you and your colleagues overthinking the situation like um, for example in my own workplace so i also have a day job you know sometimes when i mean it happens that there's this colleague whom you know i really don't get along with from time to time but still you know um benefit of that out there may be some things that i'm really um not understanding or not seeing from my own perspective and the same also with there and you know how sometimes those little things okay that technically uh, really don't mean a thing have really no intention whatsoever but because you have this judgment you know preconceived judgment or thought or impression about this person it's like all of a sudden it's really a big deal okay and sometimes the situation um you know has been has been given some sort of meaning when that wasn't really in the intention of it you know like they were just really doing this like you know face value that was just really it but for you or the other since you have this feelings towards each other you know you tend to give it more meaning than it actually has so it's almost the same with what i'm seeing for your situation pile number one okay you tend to over um analyze everything and this must be i'm seeing that this must be really tough because you know um at work we all just want to do our jobs, right? Okay, just want to enjoy our work. And for us to have to deal with that kind of, you know, sentiment, it's really putting us in a tough spot. Seven so here saying that, yes, you know, it's possible that, you know, you're both having those things, those experiences at work. But then with the one even number, it's saying that some of these things are true, but also some of these things you know are um not so much okay like it's not really uh what you think it is now queen of swords being followed by the seven of cups and in reverse and then we have the two of cups in the verse here it's also saying that you know you both have this set of things that you want to tell each other you know you have this um you know it's like there's this confrontation that's possible but it's an awkward kind of you know confrontation we're in you know if you do raise it out it's like you're calling out someone's personality character or something that they have no control over and for you you know being in reverse you're seeing that if you really did push with this kind of confrontation or raise this up it might cause you know one some awkward relationships that's not really worth it to you know um risk for so i'm seeing here with you know this two cards being the first that for you guys you would just rather keep the peace you know like come with me whatever they have to say like let them say it whatever they think let them think about it so there's also this um you know sense of being guarded but i'm seeing hope still with the two of cups in the first because at the end of the day you know at the end of this reading in spite of you know the first four cards being somewhat you know having your guard down having this mixed emotions towards each other it's like you just you know want to get along well maybe not as friends friends but at least you know sort out the peace and i'm seeing here that you know your colleagues are also having those same thoughts like they also want to achieve the same goal for unnecessary conflicts you know disagreements to end and just go with the flow all right so excuse me that's for the first part of your reading now as promised we're going to do a live shuffling now this time around let's um ask the tarot so now that we have or we know the first part what do we do next okay with this information that we have 
So, for your next card. Okay. Oh, we have three of cups. Now, instantly upon getting this card, you know, it just fell down like after a few shuffle. There's a strong message here that, um, you know, if you could, if you, and this is, um, you know, if you're usually that type who's, um, the one who, I'm, how do I say it? Sorry, I'm stuttering. Yeah, there you go. To push for out of work activities, and it doesn't even have to be big. Let's say, for instance, you know, um, you, what one of you, you or your, um, you know, you could invite these people over for lunch, or let's say, for instance, you know, if they did invite you to eat, grab a coffee, you know, the message here is to just get along with it, you know, um, try to talk to each other in a non work setting where you're not putting on the professional or the work um mass or side of you like just talk as you know two acquaintances or two strangers trying to get along try to you know get to know each other and that's the main keyword for the three of cups okay this is about friendship and the cards are saying to you know try to give it more time try to um you know get to know them better so if you're not the type who's usually the first to approach people, that's okay. But it's also saying that if they do approach you, you know, if you you have been given the chance to, um, you know, be invited, um, open yourself up. So it's okay. Now, of course, there's still a need to put our guard up, but you know, not necessarily put it all, like break the walls altogether. At least try to take it down a notch. Like, let's say, for instance, if the level of your guard is up until the seventh floor of a building, at least lower the gallery down to, you know, the sixth level of the building. I'm not sure if I'm making sense, but... <laughs> but, yeah, hopefully, uh, you're um, following my um, train of thought. Okay, so, yeah, reach out, you know, try to get them, get to know them better on a more personal level. And then... Let's see here. Last um two to three cards. How will or what is rather the future of you know yeah? What is the future of your connection with your colleagues? First card we have the nine of wands in reverse. Okay, and then two cards falling all together. So we have we have the strength card in reverse and oh we have the wheel of fortune all right okay so for the future of your connections with your colleagues um or you know people in work again now this can also be about your supervisors or managers okay you know anyone that you work with your clients you know those people the like now um Remember, we have the Two of Cups as the end of your reading for the initial energy. You know, um, both of you, both parties, still wanting to give each other a chance. Now, um, the good news is, you know, um, if you do, you know, if you do give this, if both of you do give this a chance or give this an opportunity to, you know, improve, there is this possibility that your card will be lower, really lowered down. Now, nine of wands is usually an energy of, you know, inhibition. Um, you know, not wanting to open yourself up. So as we see here, you know, not inter not being interfered. It's usually this card. So there's a guard. Yeah, we're talking about you know guard, and then her walls are or her you know protection is high, and then along with her protection is also holding like a sword kind of thing, even if it's a wand, but she's treating it like a sword. Now, it being in reverse is saying that in the future, you know, there's still this possibility that you'll be able to open up yourself to them a little bit more. Or if not totally open up, at least it can go to a level wherein you don't have to feel super uncomfortable around your colleagues or your office mates or your workmates, you know, your classmates. Okay, so eventually in the future, if you do give this a chance and opportunity, it doesn't need to be or this doesn't um have to continue being this um you know in a way stressful. Okay. The level of inhibition is still gonna go down. 
strength card here is saying that even so, even still, um, there's still a need for you to be wise about the situation. So yes, um, you know, open yourself up to them, but at the same time, um, do not. I know it's a bit contradicting, but it's also saying that you know just apply the right amount of trust towards one another. Okay, so yeah, possibly if it let's say for instance if it contains you giving out confidential, super sensitive information, of course, <laughs> those things. Uh, we have to keep our guard down or you know sharing very um private or personal things about yourself that's outside work that you're not comfortable letting other people know so those things yeah you don't have to really you know be on that level of being unguarded but at least you know in the future the relationships is going to be stronger and you know pretty soon i'm hoping and i'm believing that this is going to be pretty soon you will really feel like you know at work or at school you are part of a community, okay? You are part of a team. And then Wheel of Fortune, yeah, this is ha very happy that this would be the last card for your reading. Wheel of Fortune is saying that, you know, um, things are going to change. Maybe it's just that, um, you know, this conflict is heavy and all, but eventually things are going to change. It could be that, you know, you may, let's say for instance, you may be transferred to another um, workplace or you may be transferred to another um team or you may be you know you may have me stay in the same team but then again um you know your colleagues will be the one to leave and you'll have your own new set of colleagues or it could be that you know the things that happened in the past will just be that things that happened in the past and you'll all be able to move forward with this and have a better relationship maybe not even just a work relationship but you know a healthier relationship that could even be platonic even outside work okay so yeah that's it for us pile number one i hope you like this reading i hope this was able to help you guys thank you so much for watching and hopefully i get to see you on the next video bye hello pile number two if you've chosen this lovely pyrite crystal this reading is for you so we're going to read a pre-shuffled set of cards to check the vibe on you know how it is currently going or how it was just recently at work and then later we'll pull some more you know cards a live shuffle to close off the reading now for your first card we have the six of swords okay so the pre-shuffle card set we have the ten of pentacles in the first we have the full card we have the nine of pentacles and then we have that rebirth okay so pile number two mm -hmm. what i'm seeing here is that there is an element of new okay something new going on with your reading or en work energy now it could be that you know you you are new to your work like you just uh, change job you just change ship or it could be that you're still at the same work but then again you were transferred to a new team or you were given a new boss or you were given to a new project or you're reporting to something so in the read there's something new you know there's a new set of colleagues or a new set of experiences experiences sorry um for you happening now this is represented by the six of swords moving into something new okay now i am seeing that you know um you you yourself you know before you have reached this um situation this current um situation this current energy you have also you know within you before this you have been through quite a lot okay now this could be good things this could be challenging things but nevertheless you know there was a lot of things that happened a lot of major you know, um, realizations, um, epiphanies, or, you know, opportunities that was just handed to you. There's, um, there's a lot of things that happened to you before you went in here. But nonetheless, you know, regardless of whether the past was something um, positive or, you know, negative, this current energy is still giving off 
you know, the major energy for you is something challenging, yet at the same time, something that you, you, you yourself, you know that you are confident and well-equipped enough to handle. Now, with the Ten of Pentacles being in the first, followed, you know, fo- being followed by the first card, I am seeing that, you know, you are currently having challenges into blending in or, you know, blending in or, um, you know, vibing with an already established, um, you know, relationship with the group of people. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say, like, you're new, you know, like, when you're new and then when you came into this new office, to this new team, you've noticed that everyone is, like, really close. Like, just so close. Like, you can tell that, you know, initially when you look at them, you might have not, yeah, quite some hard time or, you know, even a long time for you to be able to, you know, blend in or to be really, really in to their circle. So, I'm seeing that for most of you, you are, you know, entering... Um, you know, this workplace or you're dealing with colleagues who are really, really close to each other. Okay, it could be that they've been, you know, together, working together for a long time now. Or it could be that, you know, um, before you came in, they've already had a lot, they've already undergone a lot of challenges together as a team that may have made them really tight, you know, really bonded, the relationship really strong. But nonetheless, you know, especially with the fool being in the middle of your reading, it's saying that, you know, you are ready to take the challenge. You're ready to, you know, um, plunge in. So, the energy is... Now, I just want to dial back a little on the Ten of Pentacles. So, you are currently... The, um, well, I saw this meme, okay, to better explain things. Like, I, start, I currently just saw this meme... And it says, for some reason, it's so awkward to start or be in a new job because you feel like you're a new main character in the season 5 of a series. Okay, so I don't know. And also, uh, you know, whenever I start before, uh, because I've been with my career work for like more than 5 years now. But before, I remember, you know, starting in a new work and it's really awkward. Like I'm not uh, usually a shy person but it's still you know it makes me feel shy because like how oh my gosh how do i you know uh, make them like me when you know in a sense they really love each other you know like love in a sense like you know they're really close like you know that they treat each other as a family in that workplace but the fool here you know and look at the fool they're holding this amethyst wand it's saying that nonetheless you know um you know that you can handle this. Maybe um, right now you're trying to figure out how along the way, but you know, you're not gonna give up on this. I'm seeing that for some of you, okay, um, you may be in a supervisory or in a management position, okay, and you are going to, you know, you're going to lead a team. Or if not, this could be happening pretty soon for you guys and the fool here is saying that yes basically well one um there's you know you have this strong god feel that you can do this even though you don't know how when but you know you know the why you don't know how when but you know why and you're going to do it anyway and the message here also with the fool is saying that um you can handle this you can do this so maybe you don't have the answers right now but along the way while you are in the journey the answers will be given to you at the right time exactly when you need it and then and then for the nine of pentacles i'm seeing here that you know um there's also an element of um stubbornness in case remember when we've talked about them having this really tight and you know um strong relationship it also in a way is also um transcending is that the right word or being reflected okay being seen being shown at work like even with work 
you know they have this way they already have this um process of how to do things that it's almost difficult to inject you know or suggest something new with them and in a way it's also shaking the people around you that it's kind of making them feel a bit you know uncomfortable yep yep so you know but in general you know, even though um they are making you feel um they are feeling uncomfortable with this i'm still seeing that you know they are they are open to it and with the infinity sign appearing in your eating i'm seeing that it also goes both ways like um you know you're willing to listen to them and at the same time they're willing to you know um open up to you but then the message here is also with the death card is to take it a little bit slowly okay one thing at a time okay now there are things that you want to do there are things that you want to improve and you know this card is saying that you will get there especially with the rebirth appearing in here like you will get there but you know you have to give it a little bit more time now what i love about this card you know is because usually with that card in other decks you know how how it's really scary <laughs> uh yeah like sometimes it's it's really about that that but this one specifically with this deck and it's just also the reason why i love the lights here star so much is because the death here is not just talking about that but it's also um you know the face here is also showing a new life okay so it's not just that but also you know a gateway to um to changes okay to something new to the next chapter and even though they may be a little bit stubborn okay on this it's still good to see that you know they are still seeing you you know being part of this team or at work they are still seeing you as a possible agent of hope okay something that they may have been waiting for for quite some time they may have been shaking them with um you know the their the, the traditions the things that they know but nonetheless you know um they are still willing to give this a chance so you know initially current energy they're good with it okay like they're good with you they're just um they're just being adjusting there you go they're just adjusting because everything's new starting to be new but you know so far so good all in all now let's do the live shuffling part as promised and then let's see now that we have this information so what should we do next okay so i'm gonna get one card to see an advice on what to do okay or an advice on how to approach oh okay that was fast your colleagues and then we have here the five of wands in reverse okay so just give me a moment just gonna vibe with the card okay there you go so um one advice for you pile number two is to make sure that you know you treat each and every one of them nicely equally and okay, make sure that um you know even though it's not your intention make sure that you don't make them feel as if they're competing against each other okay and also yeah so one message is to avoid encouraging some level of um competitive competition okay around each other yes so there's just that and i'm gonna get one more because i feel like this is you know this is a connecting message there's one thing more that spirit um you know wants you to know in terms of these colleagues oh and also another message i'm getting um yeah don't well don't pressure them out too much okay there you, you oh, oh you have the wheel or the wheel of fortune okay okay i get it now so when here remember when you know um we had a message well of course it to dodging i'm so sorry i'm so sorry I don't... 
Yeah. Um. Yeah. So remember in here when the message was to avoid, you know, um, encouraging competition. Now the wheel card appearing for this um question is, you know, um, don't make them feel like they have to compete for each other, but rather, um, listen to them all equally. Now even if you're not, um, you know, in a leadership position or in a management position, the message here is, you know, make sure that you know um you are also um you know adapting they're like adapting to their traditions um to their practices and also you know make them feel like you know um you are going to be part okay of the goals that they have in mind yeah there you go just make them you know make them feel whatever your position is in this um office or in this workplace make them feel like you know you are not um going to be someone that they should look out for you know like just make them sh- uh just you know just make them feel like they can trust you is what i'm saying okay so which is understandable because you know this is new energy so you know messages to just give it time okay um don't okay don't appear competitive also and yeah um you know just make the yeah just make them feel like you're not going to um yeah you're not gonna make them you're gonna not gonna cause arguments that you're going to work with them okay along the way all right now last three cards what is the future of your connection with your colleagues Okay, so this is. Okay. And we're gonna get there. Okay, for oh, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, you know, if you guys are not yet in a leadership position, I'm seeing that this could pretty soon be happening to you. Like maybe give it around, you know, six months to a year, you know, something somewhere around that. Um, time frame, and then you have the King of Swords. Oh, we have the Nine of Cups. Okay. Okay, pile number two. It's actually a great card, especially with the Nine of Cups. You know, being in the last one. So yeah, for one. Um, you know, you are gonna be in a great place. I mean, this is about what your colleagues think of you, but this is also, you know, also great um career update reading. So you are going to be, you know, um promoted. Or if you're not eyeing for a promotion, it could be that you know you will be transferred to a function, to a job function, or to a department, to a team that you really would like to work on. Okay, so there's going to be that. Um, great news for you in your career. So, Queen of Pentacles here with the King of Swords is saying that eventually, you know, in the future, you are going to gain their trust and their respect. And the King of Swords being in reverse is saying that, you know, um, you are going to be seen as someone who is approachable, um, fair, okay, but still, you know, firm. Okay, like, they, they would feel eventually that they can, you know, turn to you, they can talk to you, and, you know, there's going to be less judgment. Of course, you're going to be, you know, strict on some things, firm on some things, but um, they're also going to feel like, you know, even so, even if, you know, the, the impression is not really aggressive, still, it's strong. Okay, so... You know, basically, in hindsight, they're going to see as someone who is capable, okay, of leading. And nine of cups here is yes. So you know, um, the things that you are looking for in your career. So this is also encompassing everything. Like for one, okay, in terms or or with regards to the leading, they're going to feel lucky and happy to have you okay eventually and also you know the things that you want to happen or to see in your career pretty soon 
okay or maybe not soon soon but you know eventually there will come a time where you will see these things happening to where you are right now okay so yeah pile number two you are in a good place with your career and that is it for our reading thank you guys so much for watching so you know um hopefully i get to see you on the next videos on the next episodes and until then i will see you soon thank you for watching bye hi pile number three if you chosen this lovely moss agate crystal this reading is for you so we're going to start with the pre-shuffled set so this one will check the current vibe that you have between you and your colleagues you know, answering the question what do they think of you and then later we'll go to more cards asking you know what to do with you know um what to do now that you know what they think of you and the future of your connection between your colleagues so for your first card we have the three of fire in reverse or also known as the three of wands in other tarot and then we have the ten of water or the ten of cups next we have the two of air or the two of swords and then we also have the six of air or the six of swords and then next we have the magician in reverse now what i'm seeing is that you know uh, for most of you especially you are either fresh graduates okay or you are in a new position possibly in another workplace or in your same workplace but you know you're currently in a higher position and uh but yeah most probably you're either you know starting out it's either you're fresh as or you're starting out in this new field in this new work and the three of fire being in reverse is giving us the information that you know um your colleagues you know um think that you have this potential in you it's just that it still needs a lot of training it still needs a lot of polishing you know um for it to fully come out you know for you to finally spread your wings so you're going to get there is what they think but it will be you know um after some time and after some knowledge some training some experiences now the ten of water is actually a great um great card it's one of my favorites it speaks about well in general it speaks about family but you know in relation to this reading the ten of water is giving us the message that your colleagues actually like having you around okay your colleagues your co-workers classmates boss managers you know they're lucky to be um you know to have you be part of the team is what i'm saying so yes there's that and then the next we have the two of air in reverse so we've talked about them being happy you know that you're working with them they're working with you but at the same time you know they're also patient with you is what i'm saying they're patient they're understanding you know they're kind they're accommodating and they're really sincere especially if you have heard this from your um colleagues or from your managers that you know they're they are there to accommodate you in any questions requests like they do mean it they're sincere about it and i'm seeing that you know you are generally in a good place in terms of the people itself now um with the two of swords or two of air being uh, appearing in your reading what i'm seeing is that you know um they do see that there's still quite a lot of things for you to learn okay um there still needs to be a lot of polishing and all still a lot of mentoring so even if by age you know um you really don't consider yourself young by age so there's still some um you know some uncut unpolished gem kind of thing happening between you so it could be that you know there may be some things wherein they're expecting more in terms of decision making okay or selecting so it's like not that it's a problem okay but it's more like you know they want to see uh, more of you stepping up is what i'm saying like stepping up you know so that once you were able to master all of the things that you need to do on a basic level um you know they will they would want to see you step up but for now okay um they see that you're still 
the word is not struggling, but you're still learning. Okay, like you're still getting there. Six of air is a great message, and especially with the image or the illustration in the card. Okay, so it's not a typical, like just a water and in the rain, but it's also floating on air. Okay, usually the six of swords is, you know, just in the water boat, but in here it's also floating, um, you know, in the sky. So they want to see you succeed. They want to see you soar high. But they do know that there, there's still a long way for you to go to get there. Okay. And then we have here the magician. Yes. So pretty much a confirmation of everything. I'm also seeing here that, you know, there's a message for some of you that, you know, whenever you are being, you know, say you're being corrected or you're being trained. So there's a message here to be more open for feedback. Okay. And the magician in the first appearing in your day is saying that you know, there's no need for you to worry if you're being corrected or you know, if you're being given um, constructive, okay, constructive criticism. At the end of the day, you know, these things, they may be a bit, you know, difficult for some to process. But rest assured that, you know, this is only um, points to consider points that needs to be improved on so that later on okay moving forward with your career you won't um you won't have a trouble adjusting or you know you'll see this come you'll be able to handle this further so yes there's just a message that you know um your colleagues wish that you'd be a little bit more um open for feedback but again um ten of water is saying that you know they love being with you um you both are having fun at work but yeah so um you know don't take it don't feel so bad don't take it personally when you hear something that's a bit of a um criticism okay especially if it's being delivered in you know um, a polite and in a nice way professional way okay so this time let's do uh let's do a live reading so now that we know this information, what do we do next? Okay, or how do you deal with your colleagues then? There's an airplane. Pretend that I... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Two cards appearing for you guys. So we have here two of water. Okay, two of cups. There's an airplane. <laughs> and then we have the seven of air or the seven of swords in reverse. Okay. Let me just pause while the airplane is <laughs> doing its thing, airplaning. Okay, so I'm seeing um two messages for you, pile number two. Now with the two of water, okay, which I believe is um you know a Pisces, okay, it could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or um Cancer energy, but mostly um Pisces energy. What I'm seeing here is that an advice on how to deal with your colleagues is. Well, um, you know, do not take things personally, okay? So, um, don't be emotional when it comes to work. So, just, you know, just try to um, think that whatever, uh, let's say, feedback that you have in terms of work, be it positive or negative, this is just one part of you, yourself. This does not completely say you know everything about you. you know, like you get, like you go and say, like, you know, let's say you receive a feedback that's negative. So just because that you know, um, someone said this thing about you, it doesn't mean that as a person, as a whole, that is you. you no. Know? So it's saying that you know you should always separate the emotions that you have with work. Okay, and just know that. It's just that, you know, when they say something about work, specifically about work, it's just work. And it can be corrected, okay? It can still change. And it does not reflect you as a person. Like, if you commit one mistake, it's not as if the, it's the end of your career, of course. Um, you know, it's it can still be corrected. And it's also saying that, one, yes, be open for more feedback. Do not be emotional. And at the same time, continue um, opening yourself up up to work okay continue um asking for help or you know reaching out for help and being proactive especially if you are proactive and you know 
it's also saying that you know they like i'm seeing that for some of you um you are um you know you like you are concerned about work in a sense that you would also like to see improvements with it and it's giving us a message that yes you know um don't be afraid or don't hold back into giving your best foot forward or at work so it's actually appreciated much but then also you know when some things are being corrected again just take it as it is but overall this is saying that yes just continue you know um in terms of the relationships with the people at work just continue being you be friendly be open and at the same time you know um don't get um try to separate it okay like don't take it personally okay and then seven of air yeah seven of air or seven of swords in your first is pretty much like um, a confirmation from the previous message but in addition it's saying that you know um yes there is a need to be careful with whom you trust at work but it's also saying that you know you don't need to be too careful okay so especially if currently you are raising some suspicions or you know if you're starting to build some sort of doubt or you know um misunderstanding or conflict with one colleague so there's also a message here to well for one um try to see the other side of the situation okay try to consider also where this other person is coming from and that you know um whoever this is pertaining to so yes basically the main message for everyone is to you know try to see where they're coming from and at the same time you know um there's no need for you to be overly protective you know or to the point wherein you're so suspicious of um this person that it's becoming excessive or anyone in particular okay so yes oh and one more thing okay so don't be afraid to ask for help it's okay um you know if um don't think that asking for help will be a sign of weakness in fact they would appreciate it okay because um they know that you know over time you will also try to you're still learning and then you know over time you'll also be able to get like they have this um trust in you that you are capable and that you are still in the stage of you know um foundation or building yourself up with the work itself okay now let's go to the last part of your reading what is the future of your connection with your colleagues and then for your first card okay sorry it's giving us way too much cards oh okay first card we have seven of fire in the first We also have the page of earth or the page of pentacles and then last card so what is the future of pile trees connection with their colleagues oh okay <laughs> you have you have the tree of water so you know overall it's good pile number three like i can see that you know your colleagues are actually nice and that you know they like you and there's no need for you to you know think that they have ill intentions against you all right so let's just move it a little so the future of your connection with them now the seven of wands or the seven of fire being in reverse it's saying that you know remember in the first part of the reading wherein they were still thinking that you know um there's a lot of you to learn and all as such i am seeing that in the future you know they will start to see you as someone who is or who has become more capable you know in excelling or in doing their job there is an increase or a higher level of trust of reliability and of respect happening at you or for you in the workplace so they are seeing that you know eventually 
over time, you will be capable of doing the job with minimal to less supervision. And the page of Earth here say that yes, they still think that you know um you're you're young, okay, or you're new to the field. But remember when we've mentioned about you know being able to spread your wings and. It's just so lovely that in this card with the page of earth here or the page of pentacles, we can see that there's, you know, um, a wing okay, in this um, fairy or in this creature and it holding pretty much like um, a staff, I think. So what that's saying is that eventually, you know, um, they will see, they can see that you will be soaring. You know, they really do believe in you, pile number three. And over time, you know, they see that you are capable of um, being given a higher level of responsibility, a more difficult task. And there's also this sense of pride that I'm getting with the energy of the card. Because they know that once you have reached that point in your career, that they have become part of it. You know, that they have a share on it because they were... Uh, one of the people who were there for you when you were still starting art or while you were still uh, building the foundations in your career. And then lastly, to close off the reading, we have Three of Water. Okay, so Three of Water is or Three of Cups is usually a sign of friendship, celebration. So in, you know, in the future, these colleagues that you have, um, you know, they will not stay as just coolly so over time you know uh you will be able to experience and celebrate friendships within your cert you know within your um codies work uh workmates classmates you know um your relationship towards each other will not be limited to a professional relationship but rather you know um they will eventually you both will have you know uh, both parties you and this codie codies you will eventually be part of the circle, okay, of the circle of friends. You know, um, there's going to be a deeper level of connection for you guys. Okay, so that is it for us, pile number three. I hope you liked this reading. I hope this was able to help. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I get to see you on the next video. Bye!